Hello, I'm Eddie Parker, and welcome to the second season of Gulf Coastal Connections. And this year, we're going to be exploring the culture, history, and natural environment of the Gulf Coast from Florida to Mexico and up and down the Mississippi River. And it's all going to start here at the Audubon Zoo. We're just going to follow the peacock. Beautiful bird. We're in the world of primates. This is a rather new exhibit since my day back in the 1960s. Monkeys were kept in a lot cruder conditions back in the day. But we're here to see one of my favorite animals in the zoo. My mom used to take me to the Audubon Zoo back in the late 60s, early 70s, along with my brother. My sister never wanted to go, so she stayed at home. But one of the animals that we always had to see were the howler monkeys. So hopefully they're here. Howler monkey. Gibbon, he's a lesser ape. He, uh, well, I didn't say you were a lesser ape. That's what the scientists say. We are off to see the lizard. Komodo dragon statue. Komodo dragon. Fascinating animal. Very dangerous animal, aren't you? Say your saliva has all kind of bacteria that will kill you after you bite somebody. Not you, but the person you bite. So the plan is, in about two years, we're going to be going to Africa, probably Tanzania or Kenya, and staying at a uh, wildlife refuge. The wildebeest, that is awesome. I want to be able to see one of those in the wild in Africa for sure. There the run is. And they are big animals, aren't they? There's the wildebeest. There's the rhinos. There's the wildebeest. There's the rhinos. Rhino taking a mud bath. They're like a tank, aren't they? Yeah. You tank. Huh? They're like, oh, water's so nice. And water and mud. Right. He's listening. The ear cocked up. They don't have very good sight, so I guess their hearing is adept.
All right, enough of the runner. Check it out, a white pelican. Let's walk up and see if the lions are out. Looks like there's one over there. There she is, the queen of the beast. I wonder where the king's at. Maybe we'll get her from the front. There's two more over there. I don't think they are. It's gone, There she is. <laughs> so it's been one of my bucket list things to do is no, to see a lion in the wild or to hear them roaring as the sun sets over the Africa savannah. Oh, I just love we'll that. What is she chewing on? A chicken? Hey, Queenie, how you doing? Yeah. yeah. I'd hate to be that chicken. <laughs> uh, what are you hear? The cat is sleeping. What a good girl. Aww. Staying out of the rain. There he is. There's the king of the beast. I guess he got a chicken too. Isn't he beautiful? Look at the mane. So yeah, the bucket plan is to go to Africa, check into a game, um, a game preserve. He's beautiful. He is so beautiful. This is the infamous Monkey Hill. I covered this in the Snowball episode. I'll leave a link for you in the description. African wild dogs. Hope I get to see these in Africa. Really cool animals. All right, we're about to go into the Louisiana Swamp. One of the main reasons I decided to film at the zoo today. There's a lot of native Louisiana animals in here. And hopefully we're gonna be able to see a lot of them. These are one of the kind of boats they used to get around the swamps. You can bring workmen out to the crew, out to the pipelines in boats like this. Okay, we're going into Louisiana swamp. Let's see what we can see. Louisiana black bear. Now a lot of times when you're swamp in the swamps, there may be a black bear around, but you'll never see one. There we go, Louisiana black bear. They are pretty animals. Yeah, who's a pretty girl? A houseboat, just like you'd see in the Manchac swamps. A lounging alligator. See how well camouflaged gators can be? There's two to three million gators in the state of Louisiana. 
And it's not the gator you see, you gotta worry about. It. It's the one you don't see. So you see how well camouflaged that would be. Now most gators won't attack you for food. They attack you in defense. You know, they're defending their territory. And they can be quite dangerous. But if you start feeding the gator, it comes to associate humans with food. And then when it sees another human that doesn't have food, well, that can be pretty serious. But it's a very hot day, so most of the gators are in the water cooling off. They're cold-blooded animals. So say you're fishing on that fishing pier. Do you see the alligator? He's right there. It's never the gator you see that's the problem. It's always the one you don't see. And they are well camouflaged. All right, look out. There's a raccoon. Turns his head. You don't want to get on film. There he is. Little mass bandit. Alligator snapping turtle. There's a gator, but that gator is completely safe. All right, let's see what else we can find. We're gonna go into the gift shop and enjoy some of the air conditioning. Look around a little bit. We got a kid's section. Another Louisiana black bear. They have some awesome men's shirts. I gotta come back and get these for show. We have a visitor at the zoo today, a white heron. He is not part of the exhibit. He's certainly part of the Louisiana wetland. What we're here to see is the otter. Let's see if I can get one in here. Oh, I'm not able to see it. There's an otter. I love otters. They are so crazy. See how themed the exhibit is? That's a P-Row. Cajun homemade boat. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, they used to measure the parties by how many p rows full of beer it had. So there'd be a one p row party, a two p row party, and a really big three p row party. There is a giant alligator in the exhibit. Look closely. Can you see him? He's right there. He's at least 10 foot long. I'd be one dangerous gator. Look how well camouflaged he is. Look here, we got some garfish and freshwater carp. They are some prehistoric looking animals, aren't they? They just glide through the water.
Alright, here we go. The Cajun's legendary Ruger Room. Every little kid in Louisiana learns about the Ruger Room. There's one alligator that's not hard to see because he's white. I have a whole episode on alligators. I'll leave a link in the description to tell you all about this bad boy. Let's just take a look at it. Isn't he beautiful? Again, look how excellently themed this exhibit is. A statue of an alligator. Some of you are going to see almost every swamp tour. Turtles. Louisiana is filled with turtles. All right, here are the thunder storms coming in. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this video and be out and back in the Jeep before it is. We're in the back of the Autobahn Zoo. <clears throat> so I'm gonna practice my Adam LaRue and do a little walk and talk. So one of the things I am really gonna have to work on in this year is talking on video. So uh, here we go. Of course, Adam LeWu can make anything sound interesting. He can go get a cup of coffee and it'll be the most fascinating thing you ever see. So I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description so you can see what I am trying to do. Right, there's a cabin, like in the Louisiana swamps. Let's see if I can get my camera to behave. This is all part of the learning curve. Their learning experience. There's the other side. There's our turtles. Again, one thing they have in Louisiana, we got turtles. All right. Get the camera to behave. Another thing we have in Louisiana, rocking chairs. Sit down on the porch in the evening with your friends and family and just have a good time. In Louisiana, we're all about having a good time. So y'all come on down and see us and you too can have a good time. All right, I'm gonna show you a Louisiana Christmas tree. Right there. That is equipment you would find out in the oil fields in the swamps. Here's one of the prettier views in the Audubon Park. Great place to get your pictures made. Okay, we're gonna press our luck and head out into the jaguar jungle. There we go. Hear those thunder. It's coming. On that head. Start walking a little faster. Going through the jaguar jungle. Trying to avoid the rain. The deluge is coming. But it's willing, I'm willing to risk it for the viewer. One thing we have to see. See the pet? Hear the thunder. Spider monkey. He doesn't seem like he's too concerned about the rain. Of course, he has a very, oop, there it is, drama. Is it gonna rain? I better get on. All right, there he is. There she is, it's the Jaguar. Focus a little more. And there we go. Oh my gosh, Jaguars, Central and South America. Definitely want to try to see one of those in the wild, although it is very hard. 
They are so pretty. Alright, the rain's starting to come down a little bit. I am going to put my equipment up and head out. Well, I made it back to the Jeep without getting too wet. And in every life, a little rain less fall, yeah? So I'd like to thank Brandy and Rusty, Nick and Sylvia, Andy and Kim, Cole and Allie, my nephew Matt, his beautiful wife Summer, and their two wonderful kids. I could not do it without you. Thank you so much. I'd also like to thank you, the viewer. And remember, this is your opportunity to subscribe, hit that like button, share, do all the YouTube stuff. And remember, it's not goodbye, it's see you next Tuesday on Gulf Coastal Connections. Yeah.